Bang. Needs knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara, is not with us today. Um, this knife really isn't for her anyway. She's not really excited about this knife like I am. I've been wanting to check this knife out for a long time. I'm not saying she doesn't like it, but um, I'm going to do this unboxing really quick. I am a mess because I am doing some mods on a knife right now when this showed up. Um, so let's get into it. I did already slice the top of it, and then I had to re record this part but i've not taken it out of this it was just uh the camera wasn't right so okay let's check this out i did a trade for this knife and um i'm really excited about this knife this is the hogue ritter oh oh yeah oh yeah First foot. Oh yeah, super smooth. No blade play, no lock rock. You can feel the liners moving a tiny bit, but that's looked like all the griptilians and stuff. You kind of feel the liner shift a little bit, but that's uh, that is not a big deal. I can tell it's definitely been used and sharpened and stuff. Not a big deal for me. So it was the knife I sent. Oh yeah, this thing's super smooth. Man, the Ergos. I really, really love the Griptilian. So when I heard everybody saying how this was like the ultimate Griptilian, had to have it. Had to have it. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I, I like the texture on the scales. It's oh, the stone washing looks beautiful. This is one of my favorite finishes on a knife, that type of stone wash. Let me bring it in so I can see what you guys see really quick. Amazing. Such good action. Look at that action. I love it. That's about it, guys. I just wanted to do this unboxing. I want to start doing more unboxings on video. And, yeah. We, uh, you know, we're a little pressed for, you know, because of everything going on right now. So we're kind of doing trades and stuff like that, you know, to get some knives in so we can get a little bit of different material for you guys. Um, we can't really afford to buy many knives right now, considering so. But we do have some friends out there that if we need be, that will probably send us some knives to check out. So we love you guys. Peace. Okay. This edge on here was really bad, so I fixed it up. I could tell exactly what um, what went wrong sharpening this knife. And so I uh, fixed it back up. You can see some spots that, like right there behind the edge, where I uh, I couldn't get... It's not that I couldn't get it, it's just that that will come out in future sharpenings where um, as I go up um, the steel, but I wanted to keep a nice angle and it is super sharp. This steel is really, really, really good. Sorry, this is my uh, for my carpal tunnel, um, but the steel is is really i'm really impressed with this 20 cv this is my first time getting a a hogue but it sharpened up really really nice and not just that it took a really fine edge a nice toothy um polished edge and it's not a mirror if i would have went any farther into like a mirror edge it would definitely have to have a micro bubble, but it's um you can see you can read from it. I mean it's a a polished edge. It's just um I wanted to keep it nice and toothy, and boy is it this thing will burn through hairs. I mean real easily. Let me see if I can do this on camera. It's like nothing. <laughs> 